Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to my playthrough of Fallout 4. Thank you so much for joining me again. So in the last play session, uh, we spoke with Kasumi. Kasumi told us that uh, while she was repairing Dima's computer, she found out some information that uh, seemed to be a little disturbing. She found, like, uh, simulations of um, what would happen if the fog were to take over the entire island. Or what would happen if there was a nuclear explosion. And how many people would die if either of those two things happened. So she was a bit concerned that uh, perhaps isn't Dima isn't being truthful with us and that uh, maybe Dima isn't the good guy that he says he is. So she wanted us to uh, run around and see if we could find some information. And uh, we did that. We went and looked at Faraday's computer. Uh, Nick, excuse me, I'm talking here. We looked at Faraday's computer and what we found was uh, information about Dima and Acadia's relationship with the Children of Adam. They used to have a good relationship with the Ch Children of Adam, but then their leader changed, and now they don't have a good relationship anymore. The Children of Adam want the island to be covered in the fog. They want the whole island to be covered in the fog. They think that is like their god or something, or their god is causing that to happen, or it is his will, or whatever. Also, the children of Adam happened to be holed up in a place that used to be like an old nuclear submarine base, I believe. Therefore, they probably have access to nuclear weapons. That leads me to believe that Dima is concerned about the children of Adam doing these things. He's not thinking of doing it. He's concerned about them doing it, and perhaps he wants to do something about it. So, my thought is that uh, Dima is not a bad guy. He is still a good guy, so I don't feel too concerned about confronting him about this. Why did I bring up my radio? Um, look at our quests here. We're looking at this Where You Belong quest. Optionally, we could talk to Dima. I found out that Dima's earliest memories are being held by the children of Adam. I should talk this over with Kasumi, but we're going to talk to Dima first. Uh, we also want to talk to Nick because uh, Dima claims that he is Nick's brother. And Nick doesn't seem to know what to do about that. Let's see if Nick wants to talk about that. Hey. I'm all ears. Hey, Valentine. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. That's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? I don't know, man. Let's just see. Are you okay, first of all? Before I answer, are you okay? I'll keep. Don't worry. Just need to figure this all out. Um, you know, I'm I'm not sure, man. I, I don't know one way or the other. Honestly, I don't know what to think, Nick. Yeah. Guess that makes two of us. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or were just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. Never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out, helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Uh, sure. What kind of proof are you looking for, man? What kind of proof would we be looking for? I don't know. But our best bet is to keep looking into Dima and Acadia. All right. Yeah, of course. Of course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. I know we don't have much to go on. Just keep me in mind if you find something that might give us some answers. I'll do that, Nick. It's my solemn vow to you. Let's go talk to Dima. Hey, Dima. What can I do for you? Whoa. Whoa. Tell me about... Your memories. I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you. You're new to the island. All right, what's the plan? What are you planning, Dima? Before I begin, how much do you know? 
Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the Children of Adam, or my memories? Why yes, I have questions about all of those things. Tell me about your memories. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. Uh, what about Far Harbor? You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock. And a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent. And their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. Hmm. What about this children of Adam? The children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. Well, I guess I know all I need. <laughs> look at the look on his face. <laughs> I don't know about this. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures. You'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Hmm. Tell me about this hacking program. So, how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. This should be interesting. But I already have the program. Actually, I already have the program. I was thorough. Well, I guess that just means I've picked the right person for the job. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. If we find anything suspicious in those memories of yours, we'll be back. Count on it. But what if I just wipe out all of the children of Adam? Is that an option? Can I just do that? We don't have to worry about them anymore? Let's see if we could say anything else to Dima. Dima, please work quickly. I don't know how long my memory banks will be safe from the children of Adam. All right. Nothing else. I should. You're dismissed. Going. Of course. All right. Let's go back and uh, talk to Kasumi. I don't think I saw that our quest got updated. Nope. All right. Kasumi is uh, downstairs, I believe. Let's go down and talk to her. There's our power armor. She's even further down, I believe. Yeah, she's all the way down here, I think.
There she is. Hey, Kasumi. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? Mm -hmm. It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. Nope. He's worried the children of Adam will. Yep. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. Tell me about the children of Adam. What do you know about them? About the children of Adam? What do you know about them? Well, I heard about them a little bit back in the Commonwealth. Radiation worship. Something like that. I wasn't in Far Harbor long, but there's a lot of hatred for them there. I overheard someone talking about killing a child of Adam missionary. I can see why Dima would be worried. We just need to make sure we know he's not up to something else. Mm-hmm. Let's tell her about Faraday's program. We don't need a reward. Come on. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does. Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. And then what? So, say I get the memories. What then? If it's something that would really threaten the island, then it's better out of the hands of the children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, we'll have his own memories to confront him with. Alright. Don't worry. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. Ooh, wow, she gave us 500 bottle caps. Uh, we completed Where You Belong. For some reason, we got an achievement for that as well. Valentine liked that. Started Best Left Forgotten. Gain access to Dima's Terminal. Let's check it out. Best Left Forgotten. It turns out that Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the Children of Adam. I need to access those memories and find out what's in them. Well, we're not going to jump right to that. Instead, we're going to do some of these things uh, for Chase and Faraday. They've asked us to help them out with a couple of things. Uh, I think it's Faraday who wants us to retrieve these drives. Yeah, Faraday. It says it right there. Faraday has asked me to recover some missing storage drives that could be used to help Dima. They're on a boat to the southwest of Acadia. If we look at this on the map, it's real close to the Vim Pop, Pop factory. We are here, and that is there. So we're just as close to that place as we're going to get. So we could just start walking in this direction. Or more... Well, I don't know. We have to walk down the hill here to get to this road. And then we, maybe we could take this road to, here, to the old pond house. We could check it out since it's on the way. And then we can make our way over to Southwest Harbor. So that's one option. Another option is to go back to Far Harbor and talk to Brooks. Chase is concerned about a synth who was supposed to arrive at Acadia, but hasn't shown up yet. She sent me to Far Harbor to ask Brooks if he's seen the missing synth. I'm going to do this one first. We've already been to Far Harbor. Brooks may send us to a different place in the island, so let's do that one. Uh, I doubt that uh, we can fast travel from here. Yeah, so we need to leave uh, Acadia. Oh! Um, let's see. Where's this Jewel person? Do you remember Jewel? She's all cranky. Uh, the reason I want to find her is because... I think it's... Where was it? Somewhere back here. No, that's not in here. Somewhere we found a lockbox that belongs to her. Uh, but we need a key to get into it. Crap, where was it? I thought it was down here on this floor. 
on this level. Um, boy, that's... It's kind of weird. Where is it? Huh. Uh, let me see if I can find it here real quick. I... Man, I really thought it was in this storage room here. I remember... Huh. Whoa. Is it not on this level? Maybe it's not on this level. Maybe it's on the level above. Or is it back here? Here's where it is. Here we go. Jules lockbox. Unlock requires key. Don't have the key. Don't have the key. Only Jules' key can unlock it. And I was like, how the heck are we going to get Jules' key? Well, we could pickpocket her. <laughs> right? It's so very important that we get in that lockbox. So let's see. If we could find Jewel. I guess she's on the floor above. Oh no. Is that her? I think this is her right here. Can't wait to get out of here and try. Pickpockets. Oh, she doesn't have a key on her. Hmm. Okay then, never mind. Apple. What do you got on you? She's got rounds on her too. Huh, that's uh that kinda concerns me a little bit, uh, because I feel like I've explored this place fairly thoroughly, but uh, apparently I haven't. I can't deal with social interactions, okay? okay, 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 chill out. One day. I mean, the fact that I haven't found this key would seem to indicate that I haven't explored this place as well as I thought I had. So, um, wow. That uh, really has me a little disturbed. I've just got to keep telling myself. No, he doesn't have it. I'm better off here than dead. Yeah, yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Huh. I'll be doggone. There's a cap stash sitting right there that I completely missed, so apparently I'm not as thorough as I think I am. Um, I'm gonna wear, uh, Jewel spends her time. We met her somewhere right over here, yeah, in this little area. That's where we met her. So, um, would her key be somewhere around here? If it weren't for Dima? Cole doesn't have it. Most of us would. Probably be dead. Uh, really? You think? That's kind of dramatic. Humans will all get along someday. I just know it. I hope you're right. <laughs> I'm really not up to chatting right now. Hmm. I don't know what's going to change her mind about chatting. But uh, this is pretty crazy, man. Huh? I'll be all gone. I really want to find that uh, key, but I'm not finding it. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Uh, before we travel back out into the island, I'm going to hop back into uh, the power armor here, just to be safe. Probably not necessary, but eh. I got fusion cores galore. Why not? All right, back in business. You've seen me put this on before. Quite acting like you've never seen it before. All right, back out into the island. And then uh, we'll fast travel over to Far Harbor and we'll talk to this Brooks guy. And, uh... I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. He said that a synth was supposed to arrive, but haven't arrived yet. So I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's going to send us on a hunt around the island looking for him. For this synth. I don't know. kind of curious to find out. Oh, here's some uh, Aster that uh, Aster has asked us for. I don't know why she couldn't just pick this up right out here herself. But hey, you know, it's not for us to question. We just do what we're told. Bring up the map. Far Harbor. Fast travel over here. Brooks. Was he the guy that was selling stuff? Is that who Brooks is? I don't know. Far Harbor's not that big. It should be pretty easy to find him. Marina. Far 
green combat armor. It's pretty cool looking. All right, Brooks. Yeah, here he is, right here. Hey, Brooks. Best deals in town. Well, really, the only deals in town. Yeah. Hey, whatever happened to this guy that we saved? Need some doctor? No. Oh, never mind. Not interested. Lucky you. I don't remember the guy's name. Oh yeah, it's stealing. We take stuff from here, but yeah, remember there was a guy here, somewhere around here. Guns, guns, and more guns. All right, let's talk to Brooks. Bait shop's got everything you need. Uh huh. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah. Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. Oh yeah. You mean you don't care? If that synth got lost somewhere on the island, he could be in real trouble. Don't you care about that? Look, friend. No offense. What I care about is my business. Hmm. Lose the attitude, pal. Nah, let's not do that. No, give him the synth des designation to know that we mean business. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. Keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. You got any more information you could give me? Jeez, give me something to go on here. Come on. Can you tell me anything else? I'm going to need more information than that if I'm going to find this synth. I wish I had more to give you. He disappeared into the fog, and I haven't seen him since. You can't even tell me what you what he looked like? You didn't stop him? You let him run off alone. What the hell was I supposed to do? I'm on my own here. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure he took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There are many who'd go out in the fog to help a synth. Especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. Oh yeah, just put it all on me. That's it? That's all you're giving me? Jeez, dude. Uh... Alright, yep. Yeah. Brooks and Far Harbor... Far Harbor told me that the synth headed south along the road out of town. We look on our map. Oh, okay, he'll be right here. I'll just be right here. All right, let's uh, start walking south. Brooks, stranger, you need odds, ends, junk, or knickknacks. You've come to the right place. Mm, okay, I'm not interested. I don't shop right now. Come back if you change your mind. The fold. Wait a minute. Okay. What's my inventory look like? Yeah, it's not too bad. Just had this bizarre thought. <laughs> But I'm embarrassed, embarrassed to admit. What what episode is this? Like 450 or something? And I'm like, can I just sell my crap to this guy instead of always going back to uh, um, Sanctuary? I mean, I'm to the point now where do I really care whether I scrap this pistol or this combat rifle? Why is it saying total cost 74? Oh, I, oh it's pointing to me. It shows you how, how frequently I've done this. Not frequently at all. Yeah, let's sell some of this stuff. Uh, this thing looked like it might be kind of interesting. I'll hang on to this. Do I have any apparel I could get rid of? Nah. And then a bunch of junk that uh, I do like to um, dismantle. Why do I have that? <laughs> Will you buy that? Yeah, sure. Wow, 150 caps. Yeehaw. Pfft. I don't know. Wasn't very many caps for the stuff we gave you. 